Hi, today I'm reviewing the Inky List Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer Plus Barrier Strengthening. That's the longest product title I think I've ever heard of. So here we go, we've got it, and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts. So, uh, yeah, I don't have any good joke. If you watched my video from Sunday, I had a really good joke, so I'm gonna have to start putting them in my newsletter uh, every every week. I've got to do a funny joke because there's so many good ones out there. I just love them. Oh, what was the one I told Cameron this morning? It was, why won't a vampire suck a lawyer's suck the lawyer's blood? Professional courtesy. No offense to any attorneys, because Cameron's got a ton of friends that are attorneys. So, and so do I. So. And they'd all agree. And they'd all agree. <laughs> okay. So the Ankylos says it's a velvety moisturizer. Uh, and it tends against visible signs of aging, powered by bioactive ceramides for visible fine line and wrinkle reduction. And in a minute, I will discuss whether or not it holds up to its promises. So my first criteria is packaging. We've got a jar packaging. They have recycling instructions. Uh, use it, rinse it, and it's recycle ready. Or you can just take it to uh, a Sephora, the certain Sephora's that will recycle things or TerraCycle or whatever. So you can recycle it. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. Uh, it's also fragrance free and has no noticeable scent to it at all. So that's always nice for me with sensitive skin and a sensitive nose and a sensitive brain, sensitive migraines. Um, okay, the manufacturing location for this one is the UK. So no issues with that. So ease of use. Man, we sped through that pretty quickly. Ease of use. So it is thick. Hang on, give me one. It's pretty thick. A little bit goes a long way. You do not need a ton of this. So, I think that's way too much. Okay, so you can use this morning and evening after cleansing, toning, serums. Uh, if you're using the morning routine, use sunscreen afterwards. If you're using it at night, you can use this as the last step of your routine or you can apply a sleeping mask over it, whatever you prefer. It is thick and a very small, that was way, way, way too much that I used. A very small amount is enough to cover your entire face. So keep that in mind. And you could use it on your neck as well. So it feels really nice. Uh, I will say when the soaks in, it sets to a natural finish that is slightly tacky, but it does feel really nice on the skin. And for me, it worked really nicely under sunscreens. I didn't have any issues with pilling or anything like that. And I also liked, uh, so I've noticed under like certain vitamin C serums, the ones with the really low pH that are ascorbic acid, I started to notice there's a lot of moisturizers nowadays that will foam up or froth up over it. And I didn't have that issue with this one. So that's nice. I always was thinking it was the peptides or something that were being degraded by it. Uh, especially the proteiny. Nobody else has ever mentioned this, and I don't know. Maybe it's just me, and I'm doing something wrong. But uh, anytime I apply the proteiny directly over an ascorbic acid serum, it will froth up and foam up, and then it takes forever to soak in. So, and you know what? Honestly, applying a protein with peptides over vitamin C serum probably degrades the proteins in it anyway. So, and the peptides. So, it it's probably makes sense not to use it with that, but. Uh, okay, so you can see it's soaked in and set to a nice, natural, slightly matte finish. Very easy to use, and a little bit goes a super long way. And works great under uh, sunscreen. So uh, next up, I've got the ingredient list, or antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. We've got shea butter, which is an emollient and antioxidant. And we've got ceramide and pea, skin identical ingredient, berry parent ingredient. It would be nice if they included a few more ceramides, maybe? or maybe some amino acids or something. Um, I get there's minimalists and sometimes for super sensitive skin, less is more. I get it, that's great. So this is probably gonna be for you, but it would've been nice if they would've included maybe like three ceramides or cholesterol or phytosphenazine or something. Cause really we've got two star ingredients in this, which is not a lot. Um, so it's very simple, but a few more ceramides would've been absolutely wonderful. So I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, yeah. Okay. In terms of animal testing, this is cruelty free. And apparently a lot of their stuff is vegan, but I didn't see anything on this as to if it was vegan or not. So I think it was just cruelty free. Uh, okay. In terms of performance. So, okay. So for what this promises, it promises defend against visible signs of aging, 
Powered by bioactive ceramides for visible fine line and wrinkle reduction. I think this is a little bit uh, over the top for promises when it really contains a lot of slip ingredients. Um, it instantly kind of gives skin a little bit of a plumping effect, which is nice. But in the long run, uh, this can't do anything with wrinkles other than plump up your skin and make it so they're not visible, which is kind of what they say. Vens against visible signs for visible line reduction. So they're not, hmm, they're rocking a fine line. They're not really claiming this helps fight wrinkles. They're saying this helps fight visible wrinkles. So it kind of does that, but they're rocking a kind of a gray line there in my opinion. But overall, it feels really nice on the skin. It's got kind of a velvety feel and uh, plumps up skin, which is nice and offers some good hydration. Uh, so if you're kind of a minimalist or have super reactive skin, uh, this might be worth uh, checking out because I know a lot of people complain with certain brands that list every, like It Cosmetics. Every product from them is like 800 ingredients. So some people don't like it for that. So if you're a minimalist and looking for something short ingredient list, this might be an option. Um, it does uh, hydrate skin and make it feel nice. It helps kind of blur the appearance of wrinkles, but it doesn't help fight them. And it doesn't really help protect skin other than moisturize it. So... I would say this product is probably a little bit better geared towards younger people that really don't have wrinkles to fight yet. Although despite, if you look at Reddit and things like that, every 17, 18, 19 year old is wondering why am I have wrinkles here? And it's like, that's not a wrinkle. Trust me, you'll know when you get wrinkles, you will know. You will know. <laughs> so anyway, so for younger people without anti-aging issues, it might be a nice option just for moisture and it's affordable. Um, okay, for acne prone skin, we've got pen, pentaethretol, tetraisosterate, we've got cetyl alcohol, we've got hydrogenated polyisobutene, ethyl hexopalmitate, and sorbidine isosterate. So for acne prone skin, it's probably not the best option. So keep that in mind. There's Some of those are quite acneogenic as, as well, so. Uh, okay, for the price, so it's the full size, 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, and retails for $20, so it's pretty affordable, which is nice. Or if you already have a nice anti-aging serum uh, and just want a good moisturizer without a lot of frills, it does that, so that's nice. Um, in terms of the it factor, this one's okay. There's other Inky List products that I love a lot more than this one, uh, so it's definitely probably not geared towards older or acne-prone skin. Um, some of the products I love from the Inky List as opposed to this one, their Azelaic Acid Cream, their Water Cream, their Bracuchiol, all wonderful. So those might be worth checking out as well. So for dupes, there's not a lot of real close dupes, and most of these are going to be more expensive than the Inky List, but we've got the uh, Olivara Comfort Barrier Cream, which I really enjoy, the Ceramedics Ultra Moisture Cream, and the Bioma Moisturizing Rich Cream are all some alternatives. I wouldn't call them dupes in any fashion, but they're more alternatives. So uh, overall, if you've got a nice routine going and just want something to add moisture, this does that. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so, okay, with the 10 being a perfect square, this one is 6. Uh, very nice, simple moisturizer work for super sensitive skin and dry skin and probably be okay for oily skin. Uh, but for uh, acne-prone skin, I'd probably pass, but... Um, otherwise, interesting product, very nice, nothing wrong with it, just average, I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's right there in the middle, so, um, anyway, interesting hearing from you guys, if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, and if you have what your thoughts are, I'll leave a comment, love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow, thanks so much, bye guys.